Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to Game of Destiny. I hope you're all safe and doing okay. I hope you're all in quarantine and you are just safe from the virus because as we know it's getting out of hand at this point. But anyway, this is not what you came for. Today we are going to be telling you how to uh, farm exotics, okay? But this is the legal way of doing it. So obviously there aren't illegal ways of doing it, but just that most people use glitches and exploits and we're not about that life. We are about sticking to the rules and what should be done properly, okay? Now, this is actually not my account. This is my brother's account. And as you can see, he is a grinder. He has very good loot. Um, I think he's quite close to the highest power that you can get this season, actually. And so this helmet, he actually got it from what we are going to review today. So basically, what, what you want to do is head over to your um, director. Sorry, I pressed the wrong button. You want to head over to director and then to destinations and so down here to Vanguard. So basically, there's always four or five things which you can choose from, but you want to look at this, the Nightfall, the Ordeal Strike. Okay? It's in this big circle here and what you want to do okay is select it and then change the difficulty okay so what a nightfall strike is is the hardest strike there is in the game okay and they get harder depending on the difficulty that you are changing okay so we have adept which is the easiest one and grandmaster which is the hardest one and so what you want to do if you want to farm is not be on adept because adept is just like the beginners one and as you can see it only has one mission modifier and the rewards it has exotic gear but it's rare to get it as you can see and it has enhancement cores which are uncommon but they don't really help you that much then moving on to hero they there is a big power just jump in in difference as you can see the required power is much more um this is much harder as as you can probably uh, think by now it has more mission modifiers so has F S priority, sorry, has champions overload, champions barrier, and to earn stratagem. And then the rewards are the exotic gear, but it's uncommon here because it's just harder, both the enemies and just the mission. Uh, and then you have enhancement cores, which are uncommon, and then enhancement prisms, which are rare, which you didn't get at the adept difficulty. Then jumping to legend, this isn't a very big jump in required power but trust me the difficulty jumps quite a lot i know what i'm telling you i have played this before i've been wrecked okay and so here there are many more mission modifiers as we know there's already air superiority there's champions overload champions barrier and to earn stratagem but here there's also match game and equipment logs okay and these rewards there's exotic gear which is common because the enemies and mission is harder as i already said and then the enhancement prisms are uncommon just gets more common because it's just harder as i've already said before then master not a big jump in power required but as you can probably think this gets even harder many more mission modifiers i'm not going to go over them because there's just too many but the rewards exotic gear is now common meaning that you'll probably get an exotic either armor piece or weapon every single match without fail and then the enhancement prisms are un sorry common and then the ascendant charts are uncommon I actually don't know what Ascendant Charts do, but I'm pretty sure they're very good. And then finally, Grandmaster. This is the most difficult um, difficulty that you can get. It's extremely hard. There is a reason why under a Grandmaster, the description says good luck. Very, very hard, okay? Bear in mind, the ordeal for this week opens April the 21st. It's currently April 18th. And I believe that you have to take a test to actually get into it because it says please return and then to test your metal. Has lots of mission modifiers, S priority, champions overload, champions barrier, famine, has prime modifiers, extinguish, limited revives, and to earn stratagem. Makes it extremely difficult. And then the rewards are exotic gear, common, and this without a fail, you will get an exotic armor piece or weapon every single game without fail. And you will also get ascendant shards every game without fail. So this is how to do it in the most legal way possible. Uh, because we are not about the life of glitches and exploits as we had already said. And so this is how to do it. I mean, my brother, as you can see, he is a grinder. He does these nightfall strikes and that's why he has such good loot. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I hope you will stay safe. Peace out, boys.